Science is everywhere, even in the stories. I will tell you stories and then the signs involved in them. Stories first. Oink oink. That means very good morning and welcome to the colors stories with science session. I will tell you the story of three little pigs. Through the story, we will learn that wind cannot blow heavy things very easily. There lived three little pigs with their mama. They were very cute and lovely. One day, mama said, Hey kids, you are growing too big now. Look at you, how strong and fast you are. But this house is too small for all of us to stay together. Now, it's time that you go and build your own houses. But beware. Beware of that big bad wolf. No matter how sweetly he talks, do not let him in. The pig said, Mama, we will miss you. I will miss you too. Goodbye, my kids. Okay, Mama. Bye. Okay, my kids. Bye. And the pigs left. After some time, they reached near a beautiful place. There was a river on one side and there were so many big beautiful trees on the other side full of fresh fruits. There were so many sweet smelling flowers and colorful butterflies everywhere. They chased the butterflies and munched on the apples. Then the third little pig said, Hmm, this place is perfect for building our houses. We should make our houses here. They all agreed and soon they left in search of the material. Now, the first little pig, he was very lazy. On his way, he noticed a farmer carrying some straw. Hey farmer, can you please give me straw to build my house? House of straw? But it will break very easily. You can make it in very little time. Don't worry, farmer. I will not breathe with my mouth open. Okay, here you go. He took all the straw and made his house very quickly. Just in an hour. And soon he was snoring. <coughs> Now, the second little pig, he was a bit lazy too, but not as lazy as the first little pig. On his way, he noticed some men carrying sticks. He asked, Hey, can you please give me some sticks to build my house? Hmm, sticks for building house? But that can break very easily. Don't worry. I will hammer nails in the sticks. Okay, here you go. The second little pig collected all the sticks and started building his house, whistling and singing. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la. And then he started playing with the butterflies. Now the third little pig. He was very wise. He knew that a big bad wolf lives in this jungle, so his house must be very strong. Hmm, I must make my house with very strong material. On his way, he noticed some builders. They were building their house with bricks. Hmm, hey builders, can you please give me some bricks to build my house? Oh, house of bricks. Hmm, that will be very strong. But you will have to work hard and very long. 
I am ready for it. Okay, then take this. Okay, builders, thank you. And then he took all the bricks to build his house. Brick by brick, he built his house. It took him whole day to make his house. At night, he was very tired, but still he read few books before going to bed. The very next day, the first little pig heard knocking at his door. It was the big bad wolf. The little pig was scared. <coughs> little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I'll blow your house in. And then the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed. <gasps> and the house of straw fell down. The little pig ran to his second pig's house. Brother, brother, help me. And he went inside and closed the door. The second house was the house of sticks. The wolf came there too. <coughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. We'll not let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I'll blow your house down. And then the wolf huffed and he puffed. <gasps> and the house of sticks fell down. Both the pigs ran to the third little pig's house, the house of bricks. Brother, brother, help us, help us. The big bad wolf reached the third house too, the house of bricks. <coughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. We'll not let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I'll blow the house down. And then the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But he could not blow down the house of bricks. So then he was very angry. He kicked with his right foot. <laughs> Ish, ish. Then he kicked with his left foot. Ish, ish, ish. But nothing happened. But he got hurt on his feet. Oh, my feet! And he cryingly limped away into the jungle. And the three little pigs were very happy. The third little pig said, Look, we should not be lazy. We have to work hard. And make very strong house. So kids, we should never be lazy and always work hard. I'm sure you enjoyed the story of the three little pigs. Now I will explain you the science part. What did the three little pigs use to build their house? Straw, sticks and bricks. I have a bundle of straw, bundle of sticks and a brick here. The first little pig built his house with straw. And what happened? The big bad wolf blew it away. How? Like this. The second little pig built his house with sticks. The big bad wolf blew that away too. Now, let's try the same with a brick. Oh, but brick is not moving at all. Same thing happened in our story, isn't it? The third little pig's house, the house of bricks, did not break. What could be the science behind it? Are you thinking what I am thinking? Yes, straws and sticks are very light, but the brick is heavy. What is your house made up of? <laughs>